Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Stark side. While you're here, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. So today we'll be talking about the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990s Donatello. We've already reviewed Leonardo, so now let's take a look at his brother Donnie. So here we have Donatello in this cool windowed packaging for NECA TMNT. At the front here we get the logo for the 1990 movie as well as the four turtles peeking out from a manhole. That's awesome. At the top here we get another movie logo. At the side, we get some nice images of Donnie. And at the other side, we get this full body image of Donatello. And at the back, we get a brief write-up about the 1990 movie. So if you want to read that, you can pause the video. And we get the rest of the turtles here at the bottom. All right, let's get Donatello out of the packaging. And here we have Donatello. Now before we talk about the figure itself, let's go over the accessories. So Donatello comes with a decent amount of accessories. So he gets one pair of weapon holding hands, one pair of pointy finger hands, two bandana pieces, a pizza slice, and of course his signature bow staff. And looking at these weapon holding hands, so these look really good. So I believe these are the same exact hands like we get from Leo. So like with my review of Leo, I'm really loving the green that we get here and all these sculpted details like the fingernails here and the texturing. So yeah, the skin here looks very authentic. The same for his pointy finger hands, so these look really great. And I think all these alternate hands are actually interchangeable amongst these turtle figures. So that's a really nice uh, feature to have. So it gives you more display options with these figures. So these open palm hands from Leo can actually fit on Donnie here. So that's really nice. Next, we have these two bandana pieces that go to the peg hole at the back of his head. And these look really good. I like the purple that we get here and all the sculpted wrinkling here as well. So yeah, no complaints here. Next, we got the same pizza slice we got before with Leo. So the sculpt and paint apps and everything here are the same as you can see. Personally, I have no issues with them using the exact same piece with this piece accessory. So yeah, we get a lot of sculpted details here. We get some olives, some bell pepper. So yeah, this looks really great. And lastly, we get his signature bow staff here, which looks really good. Not much to say about this uh, piece though, except for these ropes wrapped around the center of the staff, which is sculpted nicely. And the material here feels uh, pliable. You know, so there is a risk of getting it warped or worse, broken. So yeah, just be careful with that. So just a brief bio about Donatello. So Donnie here is the brains of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He wears a purple bandana and his weapon is his bow staff, which was given to him to help him think outside the box in combat. And looking at the figure itself, starting with the head sculpt, I think this looks fantastic. I think it really looks like Donnie from the 1990 movie. And I'm loving the facial expression that Nega did for Donnie here. Like his, like his sizing up his enemy or something. He looks really smug too, I think. So yeah, this looks really great. I'm really loving the green that we get here with these turtle figures from Nega, And all these green spots here with great details there. And the rest of the figure looks amazing. So we get the same yellow paint apps for the front of his shell and i love how it looks i like the yellow gradient here at the sides of the shell how it turns into brown as it reaches the back of the shell and looking at the back itself so the details on the shell here are done really well i like the sculpted spirally patterns here comparing it with leo so it's not the exact same sculpt here at least for the shells so that means it's not reused i guess and here we have the container for his bow staff and this is probably my only major gripe about this figure. So they used these small ribbons here where you can slot the staff through them. But the problem with these is that they have a big tendency to unravel themselves and there's that risk of accidentally losing or dropping the staff when that happens. 
personally i think they could have come up with something better to hold the staff you know so yeah the ribbons here are a big disappointment for me uh they're also hard to tie up again when they unravel since they're very very small Anyway, the arms look great. We get some sculpted muscles here and we get the same separate elbow pads and wristbands here like with Leo. Really great. Actually, I think the arms themselves are also reused. So comparing these with Leo's, well, we get the same sculpted details like the veins here. So yep, confirmed reused. And honestly, I think we'll get a lot of reuse with the other turtle figures too. But I still wanted to separate reviews of them. And moving on, the legs and feet look awesome too. Like the arms, these pieces have been reused. But still, uh, these look great. We get a lot of sculpted details and the same green paint apps here. So yeah, these look amazing. So overall, I think the sculpt and paint apps on this figure look fantastic. Now let's go over the articulation for Donatello. So since we get a lot of reuse on Donnie here, the articulation on this figure is pretty much going to be more or less the same with Leo's. But still, let's get right into it so Donatello can look up that far and he can look down as well. His head does rotate and we get some nice neck pivot as well. His arms move up that far so it's less than 90 degrees and he can move them down all the way. His shoulders do rotate 360. We don't get any bicep swivel but we do get rotation here on the elbow which is double jointed and like with Leo, the elbow pads hinder the articulation here a lot, which is uh, kind of disappointing. Anyway, his wrists do rotate and move up and down. So the same wrist articulation uh, for all his alternate hands. He has a diaphragm pivot inside his shell, but unfortunately the shell does hinder the articulation here. So yeah, disappointing again. His legs can kick forward only that far and not at all backwards. His hips move outward very far, so that's great. We get a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that are again hindered by the knee pads here. No calf rotation, but we do get rotation here at the knee, so that's awesome. His ankles move up and down, and he has ankle pivot as well. Now for some figure comparisons, here's Donatello next to the only other turtle that I have reviewed so far, Leonardo. And they look really awesome side by side. So that's my review of the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990s Donatello. So this figure has a good amount of accessories, great sculpt, great paint apps, and fairly decent articulation for a turtle. So like with Leo, yeah, I'm loving this figure. And if you're wondering where I got this figure, so I got this figure from Collector's Quest Philippines. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of my review. Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you still haven't, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.